Good afternoon, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church, standing in the entryway of the back part of our church uh, in front of a beautiful uh, stained glass red door that was dedicated um, for Myrtle and Henry uh, uh, Mc, McElrath, McElrath, excuse me. And so we remember them today uh, in front of this beautiful door on this festival day of Samson Oakham, a wonderful minister of God's word in the 18th century. I'll tell you a little bit more about him in just a few moments as we celebrate this midday on this July 14th. We begin on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today can be found on page 620 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 620, Psalm 29. We'll read this psalm in its entirety, page 620, Psalm 29, also found in your Holy Scriptures. Let us read this together. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of, our, of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendor. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Horm like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire the voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees wither and the strips of the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord, all are crying, glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our scriptures continue with a passage from Luke's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 16 through 21. No one, after lighting a lamp, hides it under a jar or puts it under a bed but puts it on a lampstand so that those who, are enter, who enter may see the light. For nothing is hidden that will not be disclosed, nor anything secret that will not become known and come to light. Then pay attention to how you listen. For to you, those who have more will be given, and from those who do not have, even what they seem to have been taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him. But Jesus said to them, and he reached out to the crowd, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside, wanting to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I was saying, today is the festival day of Samson Yoakum, a uh, wonderful Presbyterian minister who was first to be credited as a Native American publisher in the English language. And so between 1723 when he was born and 1792 when he passed away, Samson Oakham was a part of the uh, Mohagan uh, tribe of the Northeast. And from there he uh, was settling into Connecticut uh, New Haven, New, 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 New Haven, Connecticut, excuse me. And from there, he started to go to school, uh, learning Latin and various other parts of the English language. He was also an amazing fundraiser who went back to England to help raise money, which is for the school uh, in uh, New England. 
on Mon Mon Monotoc, Long Island. It is now called Dartmouth College. And so uh, just on August, uh, excuse me, on, on, in Nath, in Oakham, went to New England, excuse me, and from there he was uh, uh, helping to raise money for Dartmouth College and uh, throughout uh, his career as an educator. But he lost a lot of his uh, uh, in amazing uh, uh, passion for preaching when he came back from England uh, to discover that his best friend had uh, not watched over his wife and three children very well, and they were very sick. And so he decided to go back to his tribal community and to uh, also encourage them to become educated. It is because of this wonderful Presbyterian minister who on August 30th, 1759, was ordained to the Presbyterian Church. We remember him and his accomplishments of passing on the English language to both Native Americans and also learning Mohawkin uh, language, tr tribal language, for our English purposes so that we could communicate with one another. We celebrate the Native Americans of our land and especially the Mohawkin uh, people of the Northeast tribal communities this day because of Samuel Samson Oakham. We continue our prayers now on page 130, excuse me, 106, 106. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. And together, my sisters and brothers, wherever you might be, let us recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. This is our colic prayer for this day. God, the great spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose th voice thunders in the wind, we give you thanks for your servant Samson Oakham, strong preacher and teacher among the Mohawkan people, and pray that we, cherishing his example, may love learning and by love build up the communities into which you send us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. And bless our Savior. At this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all peoples of the earth may look to you to be saved. For you are tender of mercies. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, my sisters and brothers, let us ask God for, to hear our prayers at this time. I invite you to turn to page 388 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 388. If uh, We invite you to also post your prayers online if you'd like to at this time. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the peoples of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. We especially pray, O Lord, for all the people of, who are native to this land of North America, we pray for all their tribes and our, the reservations that we have settled them on at this time. We pray for the wounds that continue to still exist between native people and uh, white people. We pray for our governments that they may seek understanding and find a place of healing. We pray for those who are seeking uh, justice for all. We ask you, Lord, to bless our country and for the wisdom to find justice with each other and to speak truth. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly for the service of others and to your honor and glory. We pray, O oh God, our great creator, we give thanks for all the blessings you have given to us. Bless our lands, bless our crops, bless all farmers and ranchers, bless the community gardens that are going on throughout uh, Paducah at this time, and especially here at Grace Church, and the, the products and produce that we produce so to give to the needy of our community and those who are generous uh, and in showing our generosity back to those in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. We pray especially and give thanks this day for all those who are celebrating their birthdays today. We especially pray for this past, uh, for the last few days while I was uh, away from uh, our live uh, the daily prayers and Compline prayer. I'd like to remember Sarah Black, Chase Lambert, who celebrated their birthdays on the 12th, for Ruth Friend, who celebrated her birthday on the 13th. And for today, we celebrate William Dorsey, Will Dorsey, and for Thomas Fins Finsky. We give thanks, Will. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're maybe doing some fishing. I know you love to do that. Happy birthday to all of you. And for all those who are celebrating a birthday outside of our congregation, we celebrate and give thanks for the gift of life. We pray as well for those who celebrate their wedding anniversaries this week. We especially pray on uh, the 12th, uh, this past Sunday, we pray in Thanksgiving for Marta and Van Hoy who celebrated their wedding anniversary. We give thanks for them, a wonderful couple of Grace Church and for everyone who's celebrating a birthday or, or a wedding anniversary. We also like to offer prayers for Mary Catherine Zelmer and Corey who will be getting married this coming Saturday and we pray for, in Thanksgiving for them who we will celebrate on Saturday, uh, the wedding of their. We pray all this. We pray, O oh Lord, to hear our prayers and the gift of blessings of all those who are our neighbors and friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. We especially pray for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus. We pray for all those uh, who are in ICU units, especially here in McCracken County. We pray for all of our doctors and nurses who are working diligently to help heal them and give them the best of comfort in their hospitalizations. And for those who are at quarantining themselves because of the virus, we pray, Lord, for them and throughout the state of Kentucky we pray for a slowdown and for all of us to do our part to help slow down this virus from spreading to each other by wearing our masks, keeping our social distance and washing our hands. Help us, Lord, and for all those who are sick right now, and especially those who are suffering from anxiety or depression, we pray for them. We pray for all those who have cancer, and for those uh, other various illnesses that are debilitating. And for we pray for all those, O oh Lord, for he, your healing touch and presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We pray for all those who have passed away this past week and this day. We ask you, Lord, to bless us and bless all those who have lost a loved one, and especially within our community here at Grace Church. Be with them and give them your healing touch of presence of warmth and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have promised to hear what we ask in your name through your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May you have a wonderful afternoon. Stay cool if at all possible. And if you, uh, if you, need of any, if you know of someone who needs assistance, please let us know here at Grace Episcopal Church. And please know you are all in my prayers. Have a blessed day and a great afternoon. We'll be together once again at 9 p.m. this evening for Compline Night Prayer. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I.